Greetings, Guardians of Dominion. Here is Zeus with another enlightening video. Today, we're focusing on a crucial topic, choosing the best pet for Heidi and how to maximize their synergy on the battlefield. Pets can make a huge difference in enhancing a hero's abilities, and picking the right companion for Heidi can take your strategy to the next level. In this video, I'll break down which pets are best suited for Heidi, why they complement his skills, and how to use them effectively to dominate your opponents. Let's dive in and discover how to make Heidi an even greater threat. Heidi can be paired with four different pets in Hero Wars, Kane, Albus, Biscuit, and Axel. Each of these pets offers unique benefits when assigned as a patron to Heidi, which can significantly enhance his performance in battle. Pets in Hero Wars can become patrons to heroes once they reach the blue rank, and this patronage provides a boost to specific stats of the chosen hero. Moreover, when a pet reaches the violet rank, they gain a special patronage skill that further amplifies the stats and effectiveness of their hero in combat. Let's start by understanding the specific stat boosts each pet provides to Heidi through patronage. Albus, when chosen as Heidi's patron, grants a boost of 9957 magic attack and 6970 physical attack. However, Heidi doesn't gain much from the physical attack increase because his main source of damage comes from his skills, which are based on magic attack. Heidi's basic attacks which deal physical damage, are relatively weak compared to his skill-based attacks, so the physical attack boost from Albus doesn't significantly enhance his performance. Kane offers a different set of stats, providing Heidi with 2987 dodge and 9957 physical attack. The dodge stat is useful for Heidi because it increases his ability to evade incoming attacks, which can help keep him alive longer in battle. However, similar to Albus, Kane's physical attack boost is not particularly beneficial for Heidi since his power is primarily derived from his magic-based skills rather than his physical attacks. On the other hand, Biscuit gives Heidi 9957 magic attack and 9957 armor. This combination is much more aligned with Heidi's strengths. The magic attack increase is valuable because all of Heidi's skills scale with magic attack, making him much more potent in battle. Additionally, the armor boost from Biscuit provides Heidi with additional protection, reducing the damage he takes from physical attacks. This dual benefit makes Biscuit a good choice for Heidi, enhancing both his offensive capabilities through increased magic attack and his survivability through additional armor. Axel provides Heidi with the same stat boosts as Biscuit, 9957 magic attack, and 9957 armor. Like Biscuit, Axel's patronage enhances Heidi's effectiveness by boosting his magic attack, which directly improves the damage of his skills. The added armor also makes Heidi tougher to defeat by increasing his resistance to physical damage. Therefore, when considering the raw stats provided by each pet, Axel and Biscuit offer the most balanced benefits for Heidi, improving both his offensive and defensive capabilities. By comparing the stats alone, it's clear that Heidi benefits the most from either Axel or Biscuit. Both pets provide a boost to magic attack, which is crucial for maximizing Heidi's damage potential since his skills rely heavily on magic attack scaling. Additionally, the armor boost provided by these pets enhances his durability, helping him survive longer in battle. While Kane offers a useful dodge stat, the lack of magic attack and the focus on physical attack make him less effective for Heidi. Similarly, Albus's boost to physical attack doesn't align well with Heidi's primary strength, which is his magic-based skill set. When choosing the best pet for Heidi, it's important to consider not just the bonus stats each pet provides, but also their patronage skills, which often have a more significant impact on Heidi's effectiveness in battle. Each pet offers a unique skill that can enhance Heidi's performance in different situations. Starting with Albus, his patronage skill, Pure Victory, 
increases the pure damage dealt by the hero by 75%. This means Albus almost doubles Heidi's pure damage output. For example, Heidi's Deathflower skill deals 76,400 pure damage on its own. With Albus's patronage, this damage jumps to 133,700, and that's without even factoring in the additional magic attack stat provided by Albus. The boost from Albus is percentage-based, which means the more support Heidi receives from heroes like Nebula or from magic attack patterns, the higher his damage output will be. If your primary goal is to maximize Heidi's damage, Albus is the best pet for the job since no other pet can provide such a significant boost to Heidi's damage potential. Kane, on the other hand, has a different focus. His patronage skill, Dark Patron, grants the master bonus energy for each successful dodge, with a bonus of 35%. This skill is particularly useful against teams with physical attackers, but it has its limitations. For example, when facing a team led by Dante, Albus might be a better choice than Kane since Dante's spear attacks can quickly energize Heidi without the need for dodge boosts. However, against other physical attackers like Kira or Jew, Kane's dodge bonus significantly improves Heidi's survivability. When Heidi loses his camouflage, a key defensive skill that gradually increases his chance of dodging all types of damage, his main defense becomes the dodge stat. Kane's patronage boosts this stat, allowing Heidi to dodge attacks more frequently and gain energy faster. With this extra energy, Heidi can activate his death flower skill more often, which in turn activates his artifact, Mean Cobra, granting bonus dodge to the entire team. So, if your strategy is focused on building Heidi's defense and surviving physical damage dealers, Kane is a solid choice. However, keep in mind that Kane is less effective against enemies who deal magic damage, as his benefits are primarily dodge related. This kit also provides excellent stats to Heidi, boosting both magic attack and armor. But it's Biscuit's patronage skill, Stay in Chill, that makes him particularly unique. This skill reduces the healing received by enemies hit by the hero's attacks by 30% for 5 seconds. For Heidi, this means that when his death flower skill damages enemies in its area of effect, it significantly cuts down their healing. One hidden advantage of this skill is its effectiveness against Sebastian's shield, which normally absorbs up to 15 attacks. Without Biscuit's patronage, death flower is considered a single attack. However, with Biscuit's patronage, each enemy hit by Deathflower is damaged multiple times, and each hit is counted as a separate attack. If Heidi damages three heroes six times each, he can immediately strip away Sebastian's shield. Biscuit is particularly useful when you want to control the enemy team by limiting their healing capabilities or breaking their defensive shields. This pet is also effective in scenarios like City Hall battles, where enemy teams benefit from bonus healing. Lastly, there is Axel, whose skill, Defensive Blub, provides a completely different kind of support. Axel protects his master from powerful single attacks, ensuring that no single hit can exceed 45% of the hero's maximum health. This can be a game-changer for Heidi, whose primary defense relies on his spy camo skill, which provides camouflage and gradually increases his dodge chance. However, Heidi loses this camouflage when he takes damage or is hit by a control effect. In situations where Heidi's camouflage is down, a single high damage attack, like Dante's spear, could easily kill him. Axel's patronage prevents this by capping the damage Heidi can take from any one attack, allowing Heidi to survive and retaliate. Axel is particularly effective against heroes who deal multiple attacks or have strong area damage abilities, like Kira and Orion, or against heroes with control effects like Arachne, Judge, or Fafnir, who can easily strip away Heidi's camouflage. In these cases, Axel can provide a vital lifeline, allowing Heidi to remain in the fight and continue contributing to the team's success. 
Ultimately, the choice of pet for Heidi depends on your strategy and the specific opponents you face. Albus is the best choice for maximizing damage output, Kane excels at enhancing Heidi's dodge and survivability against physical attackers, Biscuit is ideal for controlling enemy healing and breaking defensive shields, and Axel provides protection against high damage attacks and control effects. Understanding the unique benefits of each pet's patronage skill will help you choose the best companion for Heidi in any battle scenario. In conclusion, selecting the best pet for Heidi in Hero Wars depends on your strategy and the specific challenges you face on the battlefield. If your objective is to deal the most damage in a short period of time, then Albus is the ideal pet to patronage Heidi, thanks to the significant increase in pure damage that his patronage skill provides. However, if you're looking to enhance Heidi's survivability against physical attackers, Kane is your best bet. For controlling enemy healing and breaking defensive shields, Biscuit offers unique advantages, while Axel is perfect for protecting Heidi from high damage attacks and control effects. Remember, every battle is unique, and understanding the strengths each pet brings to Heidi will allow you to adapt to various combat scenarios and maximize your success. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Hero Wars insights and strategies. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which pet you prefer for Heidi and why. May your battles echo through eternity, and may victory always be on your side. Until next time salute and friendship.